be, it was Adam Chandler who owned the airline. Adam Chandler who mandated that costs be cut no matter what. And Adam Chandler who's been lying ever since. I assume you have proof. Yes, I do. And I'd like Adam Chandler to come forward and admit his culpability. I think we should make it clear that along with being the head of Chandler Enterprises, a multi-billion dollar business interest, Mr. Chandler's also your father-in-law. Yes, and I think it's pathetic that this man would lie to his wife, to his daughter, and to the families of all the other victims. This has been a cover-up since day one. Day one? What are you saying? That you thought of Mr. Chandler Donnie, as some let's leave. Kind of suspect Adam? in the very beginning? No, 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 not even Adam, close. are you there? Initially, yes. I went after Miles Christmas. Well, yes, I'm here. You. Is it true? I know that planes just don't fall out of the sky without a reason. I, 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 I knew my come gut home, my sister. sweetheart. I can, I can explain all of this. Adam Chandler has the blood of all those other people on his hands. Well, wait a minute, is it Sylvester. true? What was it specifically that made you well, suspicious yes, that Adam but Chandler or Chandler... You haven't heard the whole story. ...to do with this in the first place, right? Well, when his wife lost her child... Yes, please, stop this. Pull the plug. It's breaking. He wasn't out of blood. We have to run with cool. it. He was too eager to make peace. But it wasn't Adam. until I found some evidence in his study that I put it all no. together. Sorry that took so long. Brooke? It was Adam. Adam owned Transglobal all along. He was the man who ordered the execution of every single... He knew the planes weren't safe. Now, uh, uh, playing Miles the Christopher, the CEO of Yeah, Corbett, he didn't lie to us. He was grandstanding. About the crash. He wanted the truth, he Dad. And if you had been honest from the beginning, he wouldn't be on that stage. Well, he knew more than he was saying. He kept Adam's role in Corview a secret for months. And frankly, I was shocked to find that the trail led to my father-in-law. Mateo, your, your efforts to get to the bottom of this have been more than substantial. And I assume that has to do with a rage you must have felt immediately after the... Get me Liza Chandler on the phone. Did not let that get in the way. I, I knew I had to get to what the bottom of this. What do you mean she won't take my call? My sister to find out what happened. I just of course she'll talk to me! Settlement offer. That was a red flag. Put her on the phone, you imbecile! No, no. Don't do that. Patch me through to Ted Martin on the air. Yes, now! Do it! Well, what initially led you to Miles Christopher? Uh, well, before I got to Christopher and Corview, I started Transglobal. I talked to the mechanics, many of which who were injured on the job. And they said that Transglobal went downhill after the buyout. How? Um, there was, uh, there was a lot of problems. They, they overworked the remaining employees. Uh, mistakes were made. Uh, the downsizing. Um, the problems with... Liza, Adam's on the phone again and he wants to be passed through to Tan. Name it. Do it. Liza, please, please stop this. Just giving my audience what they want to hear, Mother. What is wrong with Transglobal's plane? Okay. Well, they um, dodged safety standards. Um, maintenance reports were altered. A supervisor told me that they, uh, he was asked to doctor records. That's very, those are very serious accusations. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been told that uh, Mr. Chandler himself is on the phone and would like to make a statement. Mr. Chandler, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. I assume you have some response to these charges? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Santos is not presenting all the facts accurately. Well, then it's uh, your turn to set the record straight. Be my guest. I understand Mateo's grief, and I admire his uh, passion for the truth. You don't give a damn about the truth. But obviously he's too emotionally involved to analyze the situation. You're damn right I'm emotional. emotional. You killed my sister. Chandler Enterprises has many holdings. Transglobal and Corview were recent acquisitions. And why didn't you own up to Corview sooner? But it, it's not my policy to advertise acquisitions. Well, nonetheless, Chandler Enterprises did hang Transglobal out to dry, isn't that right? I employ hundreds of thousands of people, hardworking people who've done nothing wrong. A media campaign against Chandler Enterprises would have put many of them out of work. It was my duty to protect them. How about protecting the people who got on your planes and the mechanics who worked on them? Nobody could have foreseen the tragedy that was Flight 149. All right, well, let's talk cause. You ordered 
a purchasing agent to clean up the bottom line or else. Not at the cost of human life. The transportation board concluded that flight 149 went down because of inferior turbine blades. I can't control every employee who works for me. Those blades disintegrated, Adam. I have never made an order to use substandard parts. I've never made an order to, to jeopardize public safety. Just as long as your airline turned a profit, right? You didn't, you didn't care what happened. An overzealous employee took matters into his own hands. That overzealous employee cost you a lot more than money. Your wife miscarried after an incident on Transglobal Airlines. Mr. Chandler, isn't that true? Uh, yes, that is true. Do you think I would knowingly harm my own child? That's exactly what you did. My wife and I have suffered every bit as much as Mateo Santos and his family have suffered. Second guessing me is not going to bring his sister back. It's not going to bring our child back. We have all been hurt. But it's time to get past this and go on with the business of living. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. I'm told we have to take a, uh, a break for station identification, but we'll be back with more of The Cutting Edge. The business of living. Son of a... Come on, let's go. Come on. Go where? To Adam Chandler's. I can't... I can't go there. What? I can't face him. What am I going to say to well, him? i got plenty to say. You let me take him on. Let's go. I don't... Right. Pretend like it's not happening. Come on, Dad. I know you love Liza a lot. Rudy, is Liza still there? Well, you keep her there because I'm coming right away. I don't, I don't, I don't care how you do it. Just do it. You've got to give her time. And let Mateo brainwash her? She's got to be in shock. She knows how to handle tough business decisions. Oh, right, and your, your little get-on-with-life lecture didn't really wash on air there, Dad. It was the truth. Good advice for everybody. Winifred! What are you talking about? You, you didn't forget her birthday or insult her mother. This is about the baby. Liza lost her baby, and that broke her heart. Don't you think I know that? Winifred! I don't understand why it is that you can't tell the one person you love more than anything in this world the truth. Haley, I, I wanted to tell her. I tried. You don't get points for trying. She had to hear it from Mateo. Do you understand how that must have felt? You know, you're not going to be able to fix this. No smooth words, no blank check is going to be able to fix this. You've got nothing left. You know something, you're bankrupt where it really counts. I'll get it on my way out. Is Adam in? I take it you saw the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah send the car up here immediately. Don't rush off. We saw you on the cutting edge. Mm-hmm, nice polish. Nobody bought any of that. Brooke, I never intended for any of those planes to be anything but 100% airworthy. Now, that may wash with your flunkies, but not with me. I don't give a damn what you think. We're through when I say we're through. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. We were supposed to have Mr. Miles Christopher on the air with us today, but I'm afraid we've almost run out of time. Mateo, in closing, do you have a reaction to Mr. Chandler's defense? Yeah. Um, if he was so concerned about his employees, why did he sell Corview out from under them? And I just wish that he would come forward months ago. I think he took the coward's way out, and he's still doing that. Well, I want to thank you, not only for being here, but for your dedication in this matter. I hope this is the last we've heard of Transglobal Airlines. And I'd like to thank you for watching.
As always, I'm Tad Martin for The Cutting Edge. And we're out! That's a wrap. Well done. That was one powerful show. I hope you don't mind I gave Adam a say. No, no, no. He showed us two colors. How long was Adam on hold? A minute, a little more. Well, that was too long. How many times have I told you to make the call? No, he's don't be afraid to go to your office. Mother, mother, I'm working. Good show, Greg. Good work. Powerful information. You okay? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Producers kill for these moments. Yeah, well, how's Adam's wife doing? I, I just need to talk to Mateo for a second. Uh, you and I, we both know that money lights Adam's tree. He owns a lot of companies, and he's not always hands-on. I mean, I don't even know how many employees he has. What do you want from me? Timeline. I need to know what Adam knew, and when he knew it. I have a meeting. Cancel it. What is your gripe? You survived. You have no idea what that cost me, what that cost Brooke or Edmund or little Maddie. No, I know what it cost them. What did it cost you? Because people like us don't exist to people like you unless we're doing your bidding or crawling from the wreckage of one of your lousy planes. What do you want, Thomason? I'm a nobody in this world, Mr. Chandler. What I want doesn't mean a damn thing. But Maria Santos means something. She meant a lot to her family, to her kids, to the people of this community. And Brooke English is the finest woman that I have ever known. I would never put Brooke in danger. What are you talking about? You sold out the mother of your own child. The last few months have been hell for Brooke. But for the sake of her children, she has struggled to keep it together and make each day count for something. Now, that is not easy to do once you have stared into the eyes of the poor person across the aisle from you whose only mistake was that they had the bad luck to fly your two-bit airline and die. Look, I am truly sorry. Save it. This is one survivor who'll stand in line for the last ounce of your blood. You like your hero's low brow these days, don't you? Jim is a hero. You can't buy this self-righteous posturing. He's doing it entirely for your benefit. Well, you know what? He doesn't stop to calculate when somebody is in trouble what's in it for him. Wendy, your hero's trespassing on my property. It'll take more than your rich man's property rights to get me off your back, Chandler. Come on, Brooke, let's go. We've taken enough of his abuse. It's not over. Eliza, go home. Talk to Adam. I... I need to know. You already know. After Adam bought Corview, this uh, purchasing guy, he told him to cut costs for Transglobal. Frank Miller. Frank went, Miller. Yeah, I went shopping for bargains. Those planes were loaded with substandard parts. Did Miles know? I don't know how much. He took full responsibility for the crash. That's right. While well, Adam just sat back, didn't come forward, never grounded those planes. So the settlement meeting was a joke? Yeah, it was a joke. He wanted to get rid of us. Look, I'm sorry that you had to hear it this way, all right? Mm. But just think of this. If he was honest, that's all I wanted him to be, is honest. If he was honest with you, his wife, you never... You wouldn't have got on that plane. Liza? Yeah? Excuse me. Um, listen, you don't have to stick around. Why don't you go home? No. Um, actually, there's a lot of post-production work to do. I want to edit this for the West Coast. No, I, look, I've already sent Rudy off to do it. No, I want to do it right. You know, the show is big. Okay, well, then why don't you take a few minutes in your office, okay? Couple deep breaths. Mm hmm Mateo. Thank you. Yeah. I wish it wasn't Adam. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I just came from my dad's. 
Mateo, I want a word with you. Yeah. Now. <sighs> no, I have nothing to say to you. Hear me out, damn it. <laughs> you, 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 you hit, covered his back for months, all right? I did my job. You sold out innocent people is what you did. Chandler never told me that he was cutting costs. Whatever. Listen, Frank Miller. I never knew that he was cutting corners with hardware. Do you think that I would just volunteer to be the guy? You had to know, all right? Where's Eliza? In her office. You set me up to be your fall guy, and then you sold core view behind my back. Not now, Miles. This is... You wanted me to stand up and show the full responsibility for, for the crash. You put those planes up in the air with bad blades. No, Frank Miller was the one who made that decision. With your blessing. You put up that settlement meeting. You made me go in front of all those people. For what reason? To save your own skin. You knew Mateo was closing in, but you didn't give a damn about the victims. You didn't give a damn about the survivors or me. There was a time when I used to think you were a corporate giant. You're the smallest man I know. It's over. You can't hide behind that empire anymore. Everyone knows who you are. Even Liza. Don't you look marvelous? Autumn has put roses in your cheeks. She puts the bowl in Durham. Mother and I were just uh, catching up on old times. Nothing like a stroll down memory lane. Did I hear you mention Tasney? Oh, you have hearing like a cat. Uh, I was just saying to Mother what a wonderful job Tad is doing. As a producer, he is totally hands-on. Yes, yes, I'm sure he is. He works very hard for his money. Oh, well, it's really not about the money. He really loves his work. I'm sure. In fact, I'm expecting him home from New York tonight. Well, I'm sure you're going to give him a real down-home welcome. And speaking of reunions, look who's back together again for the, uh... Could you help me, Opal? How many reconciliations does this make for you and Palmer? Mm -hmm. Could you, uh, round it off to the closest zero? Well, who's counting when it's true love? And how wise of you all to dine in a herd. Dixie can be the referee, make sure the cutlery's out of reach. Why is it that women who don't have a man to call their own always believe they're such all-fired experts and had a kang on to them? <laughs> Good question. Well, my philosophy is simple. Men are like library books. You check one out, you take it home, you get between the covers, and then when it comes to the end, you exchange it for a new one. Hmm. Well, great love stories last. You can just read them over and over. Oh, well, I'm always looking for a good read. You haven't read any good books lately, have you, darling? <clears throat> well, um, I think our table's ready. It was very nice running into you, Marion. Yes, let's well, do lunch sometime. Tell Dad I said hello, darling. <clears throat> I'd like to hello, darling, her run right into next week. You handled that very well, Eliza. You know, Mother, please. I'm very happy with my life exactly the way it is. Well, Dixie has something that you don't. A dead mother. How I envy her. Bye-bye.